A quick new idea, daily, from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Are you aware that within mere seconds of speaking, our voice can influence how people perceive us? Dr. Wendy LeBourne has been a voice pathologist for decades, and today she shares the five elements that will make all of our voices come off stronger and more confident. As a voice pathologist for the last 20 years, my job has been to look at what elements go into the most elite voices, what gets them hired in the professional arena, and how do we maximize those elements? It goes far beyond the words we say, right? So there's that old adage, it's not just what you say, but how you say it. And there's lots of coaches that talk about intonation and things like that. But the reality is it's the combination of certain elements that go into creating your voice brand. So let's take a look at these five elements. The first thing is intensity of voice. There's a comfort level for intensity. If I take a simple sentence, I need you to get this done today, and the only element that I change is intensity, I need you to get this done today. All of a sudden, you all take a little step back <laughs> because I'm all of a sudden perceived as being aggressive, assertive, or potentially, if I was at a sporting event, enthusiastic. <laughs> if we take that same sentence and all I do is change intensity, I need you to get this done today. I'm potentially being perceived as shy or uncertain of what I'm talking about. The second element that goes into voice brand is inflection or intonation. In music, we very rarely hear a piece that is on one note all the way through from the beginning or the end. That would be pretty boring, right? So the intonational patterns of speech are what make it interesting. In the two extremes, we have a highly sing-songy rate where it sounds like you're talking to a two-year-old all the time, and you're perceived as being unintelligent in what you're saying. Or we have the complete opposite, where someone totally doesn't change your tempo or their inflection at all. I need you to get this done today. They're bored, they're uninterested in what they're saying, and they're not connected to it. The third element that goes into your brand is rate. That is how fast or how slow you talk. So if we have a super fast talker, I needed you to get this done today, all of a sudden you feel super rushed, you're slightly agitated in what they're having to say, right? Similarly, if we slow down that rate of speech, I need you to get this done today. I'm perceived as condescending because I'm talking down to you because I'm talking so slowly. Just like in music, it's the give and take of the pace of what we do that makes it interesting. The fourth element is frequency. Frequency is measured in hertz. And we know that there are normative data for men, women, and children here in the United States and abroad of what the average fundamental frequency should be for us to like their voice. So frequency becomes important. The fifth parameter that is interesting in our voice brand is quality. And quality can range from clarity of voice to hoarseness of voice or a rough, raspy voice. So those five elements are ultimately what constitute your voice brand. Our voices are made up of cartilages and ligaments and muscles. We can train those individual elements of voice brand using the exercise physiology principles and motor learning principles to maximize what you have because your voice defines you and your voice can empower you. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event at University of Cincinnati in Cincinnati, Ohio. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers 
who believe in Ted's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx U Cincinnati. Want to listen to the full talk? Find Wendy's talk and more at TED.com slash TEDx Shorts. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you next time.